This episode is sponsored by Q Sports International, The Billiard Encyclopedia, and Fist Holsters. Hi, Anne. Oh, hey, Steve. How have you been? I'm fine, thanks. I'd like to talk to you if you have a minute. Sure. Is it about the big game? No, but Johnny did seem mad about something. Maybe it was something I said. So what's this about, then? I've been working on this idea for a while, and I was hoping you'd have a minute. Okay. Why me? Because you would make the perfect coach. Coach? Why don't we sit over here and talk about this? Okay. So what exactly would I be a coach of? A city team. What? A city team. What's wrong with pool? Take your pick. It's boring to watch. It's not enough money. Too many organizations. All that's true. But when you think of what almost every other sport has, what is it? What? They have a home team. Pool is all individuals. What chance would basketball or hockey have if they were playing as individuals? Maybe. If you have a team from New York that challenges a team from Philadelphia or Los Angeles, people don't care who's on the team. They'll watch because their team is playing and they want to kick some ass. Think of all the other pro teams. If you root for the Yankees, you don't care who's on the team, really. In fact, when someone is traded to another team, you don't follow him. You consider him a traitor, and you root against him. You know this has been done before. Yes, I know. But they were trying to sell franchises for $25,000. You wonder why that failed in the pool world? You'll be the first playing coach. I also have the game figured out, so it's played on one table it only takes about two hours, just like a baseball or basketball game. Okay, so now what? We pick a team. We don't have any opponents. Well, we get commitments from players that they will play if we set up a game and then we go hunting for opponents. I don't think Boston or Philadelphia are going to say they're too chicken to play New York. But we seem to have all the best players. I don't know. I don't think Dennis or Charlie or Shane would agree with you. Well, what kind of handicap would there be? None. Strictly pro. People don't watch amateur basketball or baseball. They're certainly not going to watch amateur pool. Well, maybe we can put it out there and see how it flies. That's all I wanted to hear from you. I really appreciate your help. This could work. Do you want to hear the rules now? Sure, but I'm a little hungry. Do you mind if we go get something to eat? Okay. Okay, so now that you got me here, let's make sure I understand these rules. I don't want to talk to anyone about it without knowing what I'm talking about. There are two teams with four players and two subs on each team. The total roster could be up to ten players, so you don't have to show up with a player short. But how do you play it all on one table? The players lag, and the winning team gets to choose the game. The losing team has to put up the first player. 
What game? Eight ball, nine ball, or ten ball with all the regular rules. Okay, so how do you stop the team with a hot player from winning all the games? It's a race to 12, but no player can win more than three games in a match. So if you exhaust your best players right away, you may have to play their best players at the end of the match with all of your best players sitting on the bench. That's why this is a coach's game, like football. Who and when is very important. Is the game fair? Very. The team that wins the game has to put up the next player. The losing team breaks the next game. And by the way, we'll let people cheer. These are pros, and they should be able to stand a little cheering to involve the fans. It still sounds good. Oh no, Howard, please. Hello, Jack. Hey, Howard. She's mine, Jack. I took the contract. I'm taking the contract back. Besides, I was here first. You know the rules, Howard, and you're breaking a whole lot of them. See, now we have three of us here. Me, Jack, we don't know who the third is. You're saying too much, Howard. Well, it's not like she's going to be able to tell anybody, right, Jack? Let's get back to the problem at hand. I took this hit, probably from her ex or someone like that. That's none of our business, Jack. Precisely. I don't care. But I already have the money. You can have the wire transferred over to me. You know there's certain conditions where this has happened before. Sure, but I have to agree. I'm working on my retirement plan, Howard. And I'm not giving up $10,000 for some bitch. Please don't kill me. I'll disappear. You'll never see me again, I swear. You're right. Don't worry, Ann. This will be done in a wink of an eye. You better get to your match. You don't want to be late. What are we going to do about him? Oh, early retirement. 